Adventures. Thanks a lot for tuning in today. We are talking about pesticides and why do I actually go out and spray pesticides? Pesticides meaning really three things. Insecticide for insects, fungicide for fungus and disease, and herbicide, which is going to be killing weeds. Now, I like to think of those as crop protection products. And that's really what I'm doing is going out and literally in the end just protecting the crop. This should be noted that it's not necessarily something that the grower wants to do. I mean, they don't want to have to spend money if they don't have to, to have these products applied as well as pay for the products. So depending on the size of the grower and how many acres they have, as well as what they're actually applying, because it all costs different amounts of money. But I mean, you can have growers spending easily thousands of dollars to tens of thousands of dollars to have these products applied. But why are they doing it? Well, at the end of the day, if you have bugs in your crop and they start affecting the yield, so if they get to a certain threshold where there's so many per plant, like a lot of the times, I mean, it depends on a few factors, but kind of general round number, maybe 250 aphids per plant in a soybean field. Well, at that number, about that number, you're going to want to go in and spray to kill those because they're going to start affecting your yield. You're going to have a detrimental effect on, at the end of the day, on that crop, and you're going to be losing money because you're losing so much yield to it. Now, What's interesting about aphids as well as spider mites, which I sprayed for quite a bit this summer in corn and soybeans, mainly soybeans, um, but uh, they reproduce extremely quickly. So literally in two or three days, you can easily have double the population that you had prior to that. So it takes a lot of scouting to make sure that you're not hitting those thresholds and that you don't need to get out there and start spraying. A lot of people, I think, wonder, like, why are we doing this? Why do I have to go out there and do this? And that's why. At the end of the day, I'm protecting that crop, and what we're putting on is protecting that crop. And again, it's not necessarily something that the grower wants to do, it's something that needs to get done, or there's not going to be any crop left, or they're going to lose a lot of money by the time they get it out of the ground, and it's going to have cost them a lot of money instead of make money at the end of the day. And that affects everything. If all the farmers were out losing money, well, that's going to affect the U.S. economy big time because farming and agriculture is a huge part of the U.S. economy. If you guys have any questions about why I'm out here doing this or anything, just let me know. Leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Make sure to subscribe as well as give it a thumbs up if you like it. Again, appreciate you watching. I'm Tyson with Ag Aviation Adventures. Fly low and fly fast.